Hello everyone, welcome back to Katia B5 Training. This is Hams. I will give you very fast intro to introduction to flattening, how to flat a harness in 3D to the 2D model. So let's start creating a new product. Let's go to product, let's call it harness. Click OK. Let's add some components to this product. So let me add this, this, and this. Let me move on the space and this one here. This one is okay over there. Let me move the switch over here, something like that. And something something like this, something like this. Okay, now let's go to electrical harness assembly to create the the bundles or the wires for our harness so the first thing we need to do is create give geometrical bundles properties to the product so create click the icon geometrical bundle click on the top of the product you see the the icon change so now we have the properties to create bundles so let's create a bundle segment from the switch, I'm oh, sorry, root definition from the switch to here, press OK, press OK, exit the workbench to create another another bundle segment. Root definition from here to here. Press OK, press OK. And now we have our harness ready ready to flatten so uh, let's go to Kimberlin system camera harness discipline electrical harness flattening the first thing we need to do here is give flattening parameters so let's click here these are the f the um, the file parameters so click ok now we can start flattening so this is the flatten icon you can see here and it's telling you it's gonna flatten on the XY plane so it's okay and click on the bundle that you want to flatten when you click the bundle it's gonna give you a fixed point and select select network the fixed point is the component that is not going to move so I don't want this one to move so double click on here to change the fixed point to here so press ok and now this this bundle is flattened. Let's repeat the process to this one. Remember, is some bundles are red; they need to be updated. You can see the direction of the bundle change here, so you can change here. Here, for definition, point one, change the direction. So it's okay. Okay, now let's flatten this one here. Click flatten sorry for that click the the bundle I want the fixed point here so press ok and now everything is flooded so uh, let me show you a very fast icon that maybe can help you all these ones are the flattening commands to, to change the direction of bundles play with them so keep playing with them to understand all the comments for example I want to make a row in this bundle so I'm gonna click the icon next to the bundle and if I click around here it's gonna give you a row like this one here so it, it depends on where you click it's gonna be the center point of the radius so let me click around here and now you, you can change the the degrees or the direction but I wanna 180 degrees ah no sorry sorry press quick roll So let's press OK. 
now you can see the bundle have some curves okay let me show you how to send this product to the to the dimension so let's create a drawing drawing it's okay all these are the size of the drawing it's okay and over here we have this the front view uh, let's go to create a front view of the all the harness so click the icon change to your product on 3d product select the top of the product now we need to select a plane i want this face to be the plane of the you can see here our engine preview how it's not gonna look so let's click here and now we have our 3d model on the to do view over here you can change the direction you can move it you can rotate it whatever you want to do for example i want it like this but i want it like this after you finish just click on the a blank space so you're gonna transform it today to to the view as you can see here you see this cheat is very small so you can change the properties of the sheet here right click properties as you can see here this one is the bigger one that I have so you see this one is smaller so if you want to make your own sheet just clear here for example my plane after you click just make a tab press the tab key on your keyboard and now you can change for example one to thousand millimeters for for fifteen hundred so press ok and now you can see it's bigger and you can move your product here so now you have your harness here and then as a to-do model you have a lot of tools here that you can play to modify or to add some text whatever you want and let me show you another important icon is the isometric view so let's click the isometric I need a isometric view of my switch for example like this and now you can move it to whatever you want to do you just press here and now you have like a small 3d view of the switch ah, sorry sometimes it's very helpful for more reference or whatever you need it so i hope you understand this if you have some comments send me an email and i will help you thank you for watching and i will try to keep it touch uh, i'm working on cheat metal right now i will try to create a small tutorial for cheat metal so um, i hope you enjoy it and take care okay see you guys